A Facebook group for Los Lunas school parents has drawn the ire of the district's lawyers. They're demanding the parents behind the group delete it immediately, claiming it violates the district's trademark. News 13's Chris McKee talked to both sides today. Yeah, Dean, this is the members only Facebook page that we are talking about. For the last eight years, it has really been this place for parents to talk and vent about the school district. It is also an unofficial page with no affiliation to the district. But the district says this page is misleading. Well, they also say the group's creators say the group's creators, excuse me, say that Los Lunas is schools is trying to quash free speech. I definitely feel that this is about control, about First Amendment rights. A battle over free speech. That's what Rowena Tachias feels she's now fighting against the Los Lunas School District. I really feel like we were targeted. And it's all centered around an online message board Tachias helped create at Los Lunas Schools once shut down. It's control and silence to silence. A community. The district recently sent to Chias and her group co-founder this cease and desist letter asking to remove the nearly 3,000 member Facebook group called Los Lunas School District Parents Discussion Page. The district claims the group is trademark infringement. When we read it, it was shock. It was uh, disbelief came out of nowhere. The group is members only and doesn't claim official sponsorship by the district, but Tachia says the district has long been at odds with what people talk about inside of the group. There is absolutely no reason why you cannot criticize, uh, praise, comment on a public entity. We were never doing anything wrong. The superintendent refused to do an on-camera interview with us, but instead sent us this statement, which reads in part that there's often, quote, misinformation and misleading commentary on the Facebook group that causes, quote, issues with the orderly operations of the school district. I'd like to see the data. How many people have been confused? Tachia says she and her co-founder will keep the group online, defying Los Lunas School Superintendent Dana Sanders' request. I don't answer to you. Miss Sanders. So showed the letter to the ACLU, uh, the cease and desist letter, and they said that the district's actions raise, quote, serious questions about if the district is trying to chill parents' First Amendment right to criticize a government agency. Back to you. All right, Chris, thank you. Now, before sending that cease and desist letter, the district spent $225 to trademark the Los Lunas school's name. A plane was forced to